Yeah. But I finished chores. We'd, well, we finished chores. We'd done a little earlier tonight, but oh, somebody uh, fresh cow. A little bit weak on their feet. Just in the door and did the uh, one leg forward and one leg backward split. Yeah. <laughs> so I got the hip left on her. And Let's get the loader up in here. Problem is I ain't got much clearance, so I got a short chain. Hopefully I can just get her up with the hip lift. So you guys never seen one of these. This goes on your hips. It works good. You just use it for lifting. You crank it down. You don't crank it down real tight. This cow is perfect cow for hip lift. She's got a nice big hip. So good old ebony. I'm gonna give her a little boost here, and I guess. Uh, See what happened so yeah she had twins so that's never any good but I think get her up she'll get going again so alright well if I bring it back I get her up can't see her but I got her out the door and she took off like a crazy cow so <laughs> and a couple cows that ran out while I was doing this gonna chase him back in and leave her outside for the night so she can uh, get her out and not fall down or anything she's got one leg that's a little gimpy if I had hobbles she'd probably do all right but better off leaving her in here all right I gotta get these old joy here back in and water my heifers and just gotta shut all the gates in the wire in here and yeah, yeah. great times <coughs> well guys how's it going I can cut hay over here see the rain made a little difference this was that one real poor strip here some of the grass started coming Not much of, too much of anything more, but uh, let's see if I can knock it down and keep going. So, I've cut down four strips already. And, uh, yeah, this one up here is pretty nice, but you know, it's thin up on top. But, yeah, we'll take what we get and <clears throat> hopefully, yeah, get a little better third crop. I don't know. See you once. Stay over there. Alright. Well, I'm gonna. Casey's raking, so. We'll chop a little bit, I guess. Done and uh, 
let her cool off and check the oil and dump. Oil was up probably three quarts, so it's starting to look a little bit off. So that one's definitely got to get you overhauled here this winter. So. So I figured I'd put the 880 on there, grind some corn. It takes a little longer, you gotta go a little slower. What do you do? <laughs> Wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have to be grinded up so fine. I gotta grind it like pig speed, so. That's how it works. I'll, uh, I'll fire the 4010 up here, guys. You can, you can uh, hear what she sounds like with the stock valve. It's intake valve. <laughs> Something on that line. So, yeah, another project. It's not, yeah, I just need to get in the shop and pull the hood off and pull the head off and pull the valve cover off if I would uh, know exactly what it is then. But, yeah, well, listen to that. All right, well, I'm going to do my chores. So I'll bring you guys back some other time.
as I can together so it's, it fills the chopper up a little bit more. Acres chopped off, and I think I got half a load. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got this strip down, down around, and down, down over there. So move it over there and chop that up. Get back when I get over there. So. Yeah, corn over here is all tossed, so. Definitely gonna need some rain for that, for pollination. As they always say, <coughs> when the silks get dried out on the cob, it won't completely uh, pollinate the uh, corn cob, and you end up with half a cob of corn, so I guess we're gonna see what becomes of that. Maybe it'll be alright. I don't know. We'll see. We'll all know in the end, right? Now, putting out ears over. Oh, it's rough right there. Hang on. <clears throat> so, alright. This field isn't too too bad. Just uh, slow here. Steep going down this hill. It's just thin, so already finished off the other load and working on another one. through there you can kind of see it through there there's an opening in the center of the screen and if you cut through there here where I was on the last video chopping up that that uh, buffer strip on the other side so the side of this creek up the hill and then there's the other farm that my father-in-law owns father and mother-in-law there so all this land on that side is his. And there's a neighbor right there that's got a field, corn field. They sprayed that with fungicide. You won't even know them fields exist if you uh, came down. If you didn't come down here, because you can't see them from the road, they're uh, right in, sort of busy down in the middle of the woods down in the valley. So it's kind of... <laughs> I didn't know they existed till well, it's been quite a few years ago, but my uh, good friend of mine rented that farm. And I was helping him do field work one spring, and he's like, go down and work that field. I'm like, what? Ain't no fields back there. And he's like, oh yeah, two of them. No, they're not real big, probably, psh, I don't know. That one that we can see is probably four acres, I suppose, something like that. Kind of like same when we first got over on his farm. I didn't, didn't know a lot of fields existed either, so it's kind of funny. So, all right, so how do we get this?
cleaned off. And so all these short strips here over the hill. So I'll probably uh, put you guys down for that. And Be nicer to chop it up and down the hill, but when we fart, when we planted it, we planted everything east west, so that it wouldn't erode. So it's kind of like your falling ridges and your cultivating ridges in the ground, so it kind of holds the water back. It doesn't wash as so long as you keep working the ground the way we're going here. So it's surprising. I mean, it does a little bit, but for how steep it is. Yeah. All right. Well, I keep rambling on today, so this will be the me rambling on video. <laughs> yeah, see that tree? How much tree it is, and I'm holding my phone. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> She's a fun one. Oh, I got this one done. Oh, let me look here. I guess it had been one load off this field, so. So, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think this field's. I don't remember if it's five acres. Yeah, something like that. So ran better than that over there, but still poor, so it is what it is. It's being dry, so whatever. Alright, well I'll we'll bring you back to something else, I guess. What ain't gender? Yeah. Can't go outside. Yeah, you're back in the barn again. You just you just really just can't stay out of here, can you? No. Huh. Definitely ain't uh, losing any weight. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh guys, we'll call this on a video. Um Update on that cow. Still got her outside. Um, she went off a feed on us. So then I, uh, you know, I got the vet out here today, and uh, I thought, oh, she surely had a DA. Vet checked her, no DA. So uh, pumped her stomach and filled her full of antibiotics and. Uh, See what she does. So, it's laying down there. Focus is in outside. Getting up and down all right. It just, uh, like I said, she went off the feed, so I don't know. Well, let's see what having twins is hard on cows. So. Especially an older cow, so. Hope for the best, see what happens. But it is what it is, so. Yeah, so. This video is about down cows and down tractors. <laughs> uh, yeah, always fun, right? But it is what it is. Well, oh, guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. Catch you on the next one. See ya.